Hi, preschool. I'm back. <laughs> Last week I wasn't at Zoom and I didn't post any videos because I was getting the room ready. And it's, and it's all ready, so when it's safe to go back, we can go back. This week we're going to be learning about pumpkins. Yeah. I love pumpkins. In the fall, you see all kinds of pumpkins. You go to the pumpkin patch and pick one out and then you, you uh, carve it. You dig out all the, the seeds. Sometimes you can bake them. You can wash them and put some salt on them and bake them, and they're really yummy. And then you can make a jack-o'-lantern, put a, a little candle in it, make it a jack-o'-lantern. I bought a pumpkin for my house. Yeah. What color is a pumpkin? Orange, right? Orange. Orange. And the sign for pumpkin, I love the sign for pumpkin. It goes like this. Because when you flick a pumpkin, it kind of makes a weird weird noise because there's some seeds inside but it's 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 mostly a hollow on the inside there's a lot of air in there pumpkin and pumpkins we learned about apples right and apples grow in trees but apple uh, but uh pumpkins they grow on the ground they grow in a pumpkin patch so i wanted to read you a little story about pumpkins it's called seed sprout Pumpkin pie. It's about the life cycle of a pumpkin. Because remember with an apple, you plant a seed in the ground, right? And then it becomes a, a seedling, and then a baby tree, and then a big tree, right? We're going to find out how a pumpkin grows. Isn't that neat? And um, this story is written by Jill S. Baum. She wrote the words and she took the photographs. She took the pictures. Have you picked your pumpkin? Maybe you like tiny ones, maybe you like medium ones, maybe you like big giant ones. My brother would always pick out a really, really big giant one. A pumpkin seed is tucked into sun-warmed earth. Spring rains soften its tough coat. A root reaches for nutrients. A sprout reaches for light. Soon jagged leaves rise from twisty vines, wandering in all directions. So look, in the spring, they plant the seeds in the soil, in the dirt. And then, whoop, a little sprout comes up, a little tiny baby plant. And look, see those roots? That's where they get the, get the water. And then it starts to make a vine. And then a flower forms. Bees visit golden blossoms, spreading pollen from flower to flower. That reminds me of the apple tree, right? Because... There are those pink flowers on the apple trees, and then below it is the apple. I wonder if the same thing will happen with the pumpkin. Here and there, tiny green knobs replace wilted flowers. It does! Look, so there's an itty-bitty baby pumpkin. It's green. The knobs change color and slowly swell, growing heavier by the day. Cooler nights arrive. Vines shrivel. So look. They get bigger, 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 they turn orange, and then the vines start to shrivel. Left behind are pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. Whoa, that's a lot of pumpkins. Pumpkins are a type of squash. So when I think of squash, I, I, I forget that a pumpkin is a squash, because when I think of squash, I think of like the weird looking gourds and uh they're usually green or yellow squash my mom used to make butternut squash for thanksgiving i didn't really like it though they can be green red tan yellow white or even blue oh my gosh that's a blue pumpkin it's like a really light blue color the pumpkins we know best are bright orange whoa look at look at this guy Filling up the, the wheelbarrow with pumpkins. There are tall pumpkins, short pumpkins, smooth or bumpy pumpkins. Look at, they're standing on those pumpkins. Wow. Look at that bumpy one. Ooh, I'd like to touch that. Wee ones, only inches wide, or giants, you can sit inside. What? These people carved these giant, giant, giant pumpkins, and now they're using them as boats. That is awesome. I want to ride in a pumpkin boat. 
thump, thump, thump. A pumpkin sounds hollow, but inside is stringy wet pulp and oodles of slippery white seeds. Seeds might be saved to grow next year's pumpkins or dried for a crunchy snack. So do you see that? The pulp is like the stringy stuff, the gooey stuff, and there are those seeds. And look at that girl. She goes, yeah. <laughs> Pumpkin pulp smells sharp and tangy, but it can be made into delicious breads, desserts, and soups. Sugar pumpkins go into the spicy pies we bring to our Thanksgiving tables. So, oh, pumpkin bread is so yummy. It's very, very good. And then there's those pumpkin pies. We'll have those at Thanksgiving. I love pumpkin pie and put some Cool Whip on it. The end. Unless, was there something else pumpkins might be used for? Hmm. Oh, yes. Jack-o'-lanterns. Ha ha ha! Will you give yours a funny face or a creepy one to send shivers up your back? Will it be the head of a straw-filled scarecrow? Will your jack-o'-lantern decorate your kitchen table among striped gourds and sunset-colored leaves? Or will it set your porch aglow on a spooky Halloween night? Lighting the way for a curious cat. So that's what you do. Once you, once you dig out all the pulp and the seeds and you put a face on it and, and carve it, then you can put a candle inside and put it on your porch. But you got to watch, though, because guess who likes to eat the pumpkins on your porch? Squirrels. Unused pumpkins are fed to farm animals or left in the field to nourish the precious soil. So look at that. Look at this. Look at this cow eating that pumpkin. It's like, oh, that's so yummy. And then here, do you know what that's called? That's called decomposition. That's when a fruit or a vegetable, something natural, it it gets rotten and it and it turns back into soil. So look, that pumpkin has been sitting outside for a long, long time and it got wet and it's starting to get all mushy and it'll just go back into the dirt. The seeds are awaiting spring under a wintry blanket. So then after fall comes winter, and those seeds will stay in the soil, and then when spring comes and the snow melts, they'll start to grow again. Isn't that cool? Pumpkins. So we'll be talking a lot about pumpkins this week. I'm so excited. Bye.